So, are you too young to create a business? You know, that's a, that's a very good question. And uh, I'm gonna tell you at the end of this video. <laughs> no, just kidding. I know a lot of people do that. You know, they have a 10 minute video and they'll tell you the answer to your question at the end of it, but no, I'm not gonna do that. The answer is uh, no. You're not too young to create a business. Actually, creating businesses when I was young is probably one of the best things I ever did. Hey guys, it's Akena Obi here, and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my backstory in terms of businesses. So I was a video gamer. Uh, I guess I should just say gamer. I don't know why I said video gamer, but <laughs> I, I was a video gamer back in my days. But uh, yeah, it's true. I used to play a lot of games, and that kind of all stopped when I was around 13 years old, because quite honestly, I was playing way too much, uh, much more than a normal 13-year-old boy should be playing video games. And my parents got frustrated. They were like, okay, you're done, you're banned. And uh, that really sucked, uh, at least for a few days, because I didn't really know what to do with myself. And um, during those few days, I, I actually watched the movie The Social Network, which was um, the movie with Mark Zuckerberg, how he created Facebook. And you gotta know for a 13 year old boy to see a movie where the dude's creating a website, and then like an hour later in the, in, in the movie, the dude's a billionaire. I mean, that's very, that was very inspiring to me. And I was like, okay, so if, I create a website, something happens, billionaire, okay, I'm gonna create a website. And actually I did, it was, uh, it was definitely not nothing too complex, but I taught myself how to code, I taught myself a little bit of HTML, CSS, kind of basic stuff when I was 13 years old, and um, I created a website, it's called, it was called Socially Legit. <sighs> now, uh, Socially Legit, that was a uh, website. <laughs> It was kind of like a comedy website, honestly. I just posted whatever I thought was funny on there, some YouTube videos, and it didn't really go so far, but I mean, it was just, I was just a little thing I was doing when I was 13 years old. Some people created websites, some people had lemonade stands, you know, it was just that first taste of entrepreneurship. But what I did do is I partnered with a YouTuber that also made, um, like America's home funniest home video like compilations and some of his videos had like millions of views so I was like literally dude listen I'll sponsor you I'll put like a whole segment of my website just for your videos if you like you know just send send people the link and put it in the description and stuff like that and he did it that was like my little first taste of business and a um, little bit after that I got back into gaming um, but since I had that little kind of taste of business and creating websites and partnering with people and collaborating I was like you know what if I'm getting back into gaming and I, I want to play this new game that's coming out it was called Guild Wars 2 I'm not sure if you might know it um, I thought to myself you know what I want to do it right I want to almost kind of create like a business or like a professional like team around this and that's what I did so I um, started trying to recruiting like you know ex-professional gamers and stuff like that you know just I wanted to be surrounded by like the best people and somehow it worked I, and I say somehow but I know how I got it to work through just you know months and months of just recruiting and posting on different forums and saying we're gonna be like the the most elite team and all that stuff but it, it, it worked I ended up recruiting a lot of uh, professional gamers ex-professional gamers people who used to play on you know big teams like Fnatic and SK Gaming, and uh, eventually I, I recruited two people who would later become my co-founders, um, and one was 23 years old from Germany, the other was 25 years old from Norway, um, and already, you know, I was kind of feeling a bit uh, underage, right, because I'm surrounded by 20 year olds, a lot of the people who recruit gaming wise were like, you know, in their mid to late 20s, and here I am, this 14 year old kid that's just dealing with people that are almost, if not, you know, actually twice my age, um, and as a young entrepreneur, as someone just who's young trying to get shit started, right? You you, you think to yourself like, oh my god, they're not gonna take me seriously. They're not they're not gonna you know really respect me. They're not gonna do. They're they're, they're just gonna think I'm just some this kid with this squeaky voice. And to be honest, I did have that squeaky voice. I was you know voice cracking all over the place and stuff like that. And you really become self conscious about it when you're that age. But I just have to tell you that you know if you're a young entrepreneur, you should just go for it because it doesn't matter. Those people uh, in the beginning they might have been a bit shaky because they knew I was young But they knew that I was passionate they knew that I was motivated and honestly looking at it from an adult perspective I would be the same way if I was working with someone who's 15 or 16 years old But he has or she has you know so much passion and so much uh, just pure dedication towards something 
as a sensible adult, you respect that. So people will respect you if, if you are deserving of it and you put in the work. So getting back to my story, I, um, you know, it was a crazy time. Uh, I started recruiting, you know, professional gamers. Eventually, um, we, we, we did create the team and we did actually incorporate it as a company because one of my co-founders came to me with the idea of, you know, hey, we have the best players. Why not create like premium tutorials and premium guides that we can sell and create a website surrounding that? And once we kind of had that idea, uh, we brought in, we actually were, was able, we were able to get an investor on board who invested like a five figure sum into our company. Um, um, what else? We we hired certain people, like let's say video editors, video designers, and the whole th the, the team was called Team Paradigm. And uh, like I said before, it was for this game called Guild Wars 2. It wasn't out yet, but I already did a lot of recruiting. And when it came out. You know, because of the recruiting that I did, we were like the top dogs. We had the best players, we were running tournaments, we were winning tournaments, we had professional commentaries of, of our matches. Let the games begin. In the blue corner, we have Team Paradigm. Versus red corner, Super Squad of this. <laughs> map is Faux Fire. Brand new map, new mechanics, super so, fun. these classes from Team Paradigm. Um, the, the developers knew who we were. We got like pre-beta access, the, the, the developers like, Respected us and respected our like demands. We helped shaped, uh, shaped like the uh, an aspect of that game, um, and it was really really cool. And you know, as a 14 year old, 15 year old kid, I literally I was at its peak. I was managing a YouTube channel that was getting 50,000 views uh, on certain videos, uh, a website that at its peak was reaching 80,000 views per day. 80,000 clicks per day and it was a crazy time and I was surrounded by people that were older than me and uh, One of the coolest things when you're a young entrepreneur is if you create something you never know what's gonna happen And you never know what people you're gonna meet as a result of that and um, if you meet you know older people um, that can really help shape your, your worldview because a lot of the kids that were around me, 13 years old, 15 years old, 17 years old, they were thinking solely in terms of high school where I was, you know, managing at its peak like 70 people and talking to, you know, at least a dozen people a day from all around the world, from all different backgrounds. You know, I had so many people I knew from Sweden, from Norway, uh, from a lot of the Scandinavian countries actually, and also from Germany, from even Middle East, from, from Dubai, um, from all across America. And having that kind of experience and talking to people like that really shaped my mentality. And I was like, I was like a 30 year old man when I was 15 years old. I'm old. I'm, I'm 21 years old now, but I, th I feel like I'm actually younger than than I was mentally when I was 15 years old because I was that was insane I, We even hired this dude who used to be a sniper team leader in the in the in the US military it Actually, it was the army, but I think it's the same thing. No, I don't I'm, I'm not sure so sure about that but uh, I know it was, he, he was he was army and he uh, He joined on board to do management um, so he helped me and the other co-founders, and I learned so much from him. Um, and he kind of, you know, helped shape me, my management style, my leadership style. Um, and it was just kind of like really bizarre, like attracting all these different people from different backgrounds. Now, they were gamers, so they were a bit nerdier, but hey, you know, people are people. And um, it was a crazy experience. And it didn't succeed at the end of it. We, we had big ambitions, you know, making a lot of money. We had money invested into it and it didn't succeed. Uh, the game, the aspect of the game that we were focused on just kind of fell through. The developers didn't hold up on their end of the game or end of the bargain. And uh, yeah, eventually the interest in the game dissipated and we kind of stopped doing it. But, you know, that might that might kind of be like oh for for you you might be like oh well it didn't succeed oh then it's not good but actually it's not really when you're a young entrepreneur you have all this time uh, available to you especially if you're like 15 years old 17 years old something like that. you have a lot of free time and it's not necessarily about succeeding because some of the stuff that I learned when I was actually operating that business the stuff that you would learn you know senior year of university or maybe even a master's degree in university the people that I was learning from. You know, the, the hands-on 12 hours a day, 14 hours a day, 18 hours a day experience um, of just, just working towards something that I enjoyed, um, it's, it's, uh, it's undeniable. It, it really did change me for the better and it led to other opportunities. But kind of going back on that whole succeeding versus not succeeding thing, if you're an entrepreneur, it really does not matter if you succeed or not because 
you have your whole life ahead of you. And if you do succeed, let me tell you, media loves young entrepreneurs. Media, like, listen, if you're a young entrepreneur and you succeed, like, you have your life set. Because not only is your business successful, but now the media is going to start writing about you, like, 15-year-old, 17-year-old did this, got this investment, whatever. Um, and... You know, but you're set. But even if you don't, like, you'll learn so much in the process. I mean, I knew since I was so interested in business, getting so interested in business during that time, even outside of the company, I was reading like venture capitalism books. I was reading books on founding companies and investing. And, you know, that's kind of really, I mean, when you learn something, especially at a younger age, it really sticks with you. So I kind of have that business base and it's kind of always been there and it will always be there because I got interested in entrepreneurship at a young age. Now, um, this company, uh, I, I operated between 14 to 16 years old and it was crazy, crazy experience. I've already like overlaid some of the photos and videos uh, over the video so you've, you, you've seen you know, some of the stuff I'm talking about. Um, but after that, you know, because I had that experience, it led me to getting a position at a head of marketing role for a like small social network startup that revolved around gaming. And then after that, because I had that experience, uh, I actually applied to um, a, a business program at the Warden School of Business, University of Pennsylvania, so Ivy League, basically one of the best business schools, if not uh, the best business school in the world and I got into their summer program uh, which is for like high school students but my my grades were so bad though my grades I mean they weren't so bad but they weren't too good uh, and I got in solely because of that kind of previous experience both from the social network thing that I did and also from the company that I created and after that you know that really I mean that that's an amazing thing to have on your resume or, 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 or uh, you know college application but um, on top of that, I learned a lot from there, and then I uh, had my own Kickstarter, and I created, and it was successful. I raised thirteen thousand dollars for a uh, a thing that I invented, and it all kind of really just started from me, you know, getting kicked off the computer and getting kicked on video games and being a bit creative and trying to see what I could do with myself, um, and. I mean, that's it, guys. If you if you are a young entrepreneur, literally, do not care. Don't, don't you give one single uh, frick <laughs> about um, you know what other people might think, whether you're, you know you're not you're too young or whatnot. Listen, I wasn't even legally allowed to found the company that uh, I founded, so I had to go through my dad. But you know, people find find a way. My founder, my co-founders weren't like, you know what, I you're too young. I don't. We don't want to have to sign something with your dad. We don't want to have to do this. You know, just just go away. No. You know, they were very supportive because they knew how much I was helping. They knew that without me, uh, this whole thing wouldn't have existed. And that's one of the coolest, you know, experiences to get when you're young. You know, to have that feeling of building something and working, putting your all towards something. And then if it does flourish a bit, if it does do well, like you have something tangible. You have something in front of you that you created that you wouldn't have created. Like it wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you. So that's really cool stuff. And then after that, I actually managed to get an internship. Um, at a really cool company, one of the most innovative companies in America, in Manhattan. Um, and that really only happened because I had the previous business experience, which only really happened because my parents kicked me off the video game, you know? And I mean, they were rejecting people with, that were in college, and I, I wasn't even in college, I was straight out of high school, and I actually got that internship. Um, and that's, that, that, you know, that's pretty cool. So ultimately, guys, that's a bit of my story. But uh, last, last minute kind of advice. Um, honestly, you have nothing to worry about. If if you have a lot of free time and you're kind of worried, like, oh, I want to create a new app, I want to create a game, I want to program a game, I want to, I want to do something kind of, you know, big. I want to create, uh, I don't know, like even like some kind of online store or sell your own T-shirts or whatever. Do it. If you're young, this is a perfect time to do it. I know so many stories of 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 people doing stuff when they're kids, like 15 years old, 16 years old, and you know, even if they're not successful, they learn a lot from it, but I, there are a lot of success stories. Um, and it's really, you know, this is what I want to say, actually. Um, there's not really much difference between, you know, in terms of business, there's not too much difference age-wise. I mean, yes, you do learn certain things, but 
if you are 15 years old versus you're 21 years old, yes, you can go out drinking, yes, you can network a bit better, but I mean, you know, you putting in 18 hours when you're 15 years old versus you putting in 18 hours, if that's even possible, when you're 21 years old, I mean, you're regardless of your age, you're still going to get something out of it. And um, I would just say that I would just wish you the best of luck. If you want to create that shirt business, you want to create that new app, whatever, go for it. Even if it doesn't succeed, you will uh, you'll learn a lot from, from the whole experience and you'll take a away a lot from it. And that's basically it. That's all I have to say for you. So yeah, my answer is yes, you are not too young. See what I did there? You're not too young. Don't, don't, don't let it get to you. I mean, the thing is, it's like, if, if you want it bad, you can do it. And now I'm just rambling, so I'm gonna end it right there. But I hope you enjoyed this little kind of uh, more self-improvement slash fun kind of episode. I don't know, I don't know, like advice kind of episode. Um, usually I'm doing some other stuff with languages and fitness, but I like to make general videos like this as well. Because I knew, I know when I was younger, you know, I, I was very insecure about being 16 years old or 15 years old and having my voice go eh, you know talking to 25 year olds but hey it turned out for the better so that's basically it guys subscribe to my channel for general kind of self-improvement general advice but also fitness I, I teach uh, languages as well how to learn languages because I've taught myself languages so if it's interesting to you uh, I think you should go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button I think that would be uh, great so yeah, guys, ladies and gentlemen, or kids and cadets, take care. Bye-bye.